Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome to Valhalla Kids. Also, um, yeah, April Fools, I suppose. So the guys who made Valhalla have released, uh, yeah, this spin-off of their own game. And I'm gonna try and get this video up on April Fools, or at least the first part, as it's kind of in theme of what they've tried to do. I don't really know what to expect. I don't know if it's a long thing or if it's a short thing. We're gonna find out. Let's start. Okay, here's Dana. It was a cloudy, humid day. The kind of day that saps you of your will to do anything at all. I was minding my own business. After class, when a girl showed up at the door. Excuse me, Dana. Holy. And then a doner kebab crashed through the window. What? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's Stella. Yeah, so I hope you're familiar with Valhalla because I have done a, a complete gameplay of this on the, elsewhere on the channel, which is why I'm playing this. So there's going to be a lot of the original characters showing up in um, child form, I suppose. Weird. Is this a bad time? Yeah, you saw nothing. What's up? You see, it's about, say, say no more. Who do I have to beat up? That's the thing. We don't know yet. She was working on the booth for next week's festival. She was storing it in the auditorium, like everybody else, but... um. Oh, what happened? Alright, off to the schoolyard. Ah, oh, you actually went and bothered Dana about this. Everything's fine, don't worry. It's not fine. You poured your soul into that booth to make it perfect. I didn't really. And then someone came and destroyed it. You deserve better than that. I didn't do much, so I didn't lose. Filthy jabron is destroying the hard work of an innocent girl. Dana's lost her shit. I'll track their asses down and make them pay. Please don't get so excited about it. But first, I gotta ask some questions. Okay, I'll be at your um, base if you need me. Uh, why there? Because that place is a mess. How can you stand being there? You can't even walk properly. Well, uh... I just can't leave it be, knowing it's like that. Now go, you gotta find that terrorist. Okay, let's go. Where do I start looking? I should ask someone. Okay, what we can do? Move, talk and look. Let's look at... Say. Everything okay? Uh, it's not. I can see misery plain as day on your face. I'm not plain as day. <laughs> Alright, Stella. So fluffy. What? Can I touch it? You have to be more specific about what? That thing on your neck. Oh, only if you wash your hands first. But the bathroom's so far away. Forget it, it's not worth it. Alright, let's look at the crush booth. I won't let this booth death be in vain. Uh, it didn't really die. Of course it didn't. It lives within all of us. <laughs> Alright. Let's talk to Stella. We gotta get to the bottom of this atrocious mess. Where do you think I should start looking? Uh, auditorium, of course. That's where this whole thing took place. Sounds good. Alright, let's talk to C. Thanks for worrying, Dana, but it's not, um... It is! I just can't let a scumbag like this roam free in my school. Then, uh, be careful, okay? Alright, so let's move. So we got... So we're at base now. Let's go to the auditorium. Auditorium JK Lawler. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's check out... You cannot pass. It's Gabby. Wow. Why not? Because I am the law. And the law says you can't pass. Uh, yeah, but why? Because I am the law. Uh... Oh, it's Gabby. Agent Extra XG. Awesome, Agent Gabby. Not extraordinaire. Who gave you the authority? Auth what, what, now? The power to say that I can't pass. The law. But aren't you the law? Yes, then you gave yourself the power. I did what? You say that you're the law. I am. And the law gave you the authority? Yes. Then you gave yourself the authority. Uh. <laughs> say, uh, where's Jill? At the entrance near the blue tree. So Gabby is like... Jill's ex's... Uh, little sister. There we go. Thanks. Blue tree. Gary won't let me pass. Let's look for Jill at the entrance. What can we look at? Auditorium. 
Yeah, J.K. Lawler, a controversial figure to some, but a man I can't help but respect for all his accomplishments. Isn't that a wrestling reference? Jill says he's a, uh, yeah, a lecturer sadada mob man. <laughs> Lecherous, okay. That's one of many things he is. All right, let's look at Gabby. What? How old are you? Eight. You look like you're seven. I'm not, I'm eight. I'm not small anymore. But you're not as big as me. I'm medium. <laughs> okay, we should go find Jill. Move to the... Got the yard? The base entrance. Where's the blue tree? That's what we need. Here we go. Great. Just the girl and tits I was looking for. Dana, can you come and cheer up Jill for a bit? Oh, it's Alma. What happened? Nothing? Were you crying? Who the fuck made you cry? Nothing. Who's nothing? Nothing made me fucking cry. I just kind of did. Oh. Ah. I know, right? <laughs> Are you here to patronise me too then, boss? Maybe later. Say, can you do something about Gabby? Did the little brat sneak into the cafeteria again? I wish. I have a craving for pickles right now. What? What's this about pickles? Last week, Gabby snuck into the cafeteria and put pickles in everything. Oh my god, that girl. So, what's she doing this time? She's blocking the auditorium entrance, saying that she's the law. Oh. Don't worry, it's almost nap time. She'll be out of there in no time. Really? Yeah, she'll probably be gone by the time you get back. Oh. Okay, we should go back to the auditorium. Let's, let's look around. Let's look at the tree. Is this the blue tree? Blue what now? Gabby said you'd be near the blue tree, whatever that is. Knowing her, it could be many things. Blue tree, glue tree, dew. Oh, it might be a dew tree. A dew tree. One time, she asked what the little droplets on the leaves were, and I told her it was dew. It's the tree that had dew, blue, blue tree. Although the tree where I told her that is that one over there, not this one here. Oh, it's Jill. What's up? There's something twisted in how you look cute when you cry. Uh, but it's not half as cute as when you're happy, you know. Um, that implies she's happy at all, though. Ah, shut the fuck up. Alright, Alma. So, no dates today. Did I make it look that obvious? You don't have your killer look mode, so, uh, yeah. Wow, killer look mode. What gives it away? Is it the different perfume? And the hairstyle and your skirt and your makeup? And you're not making your cleavage more obvious than the fucking sun. Alright, so we can talk as well, can't we? Talk to Jill. So to be clear, nobody bullied you into crying, right? Uh, my uterus did. Uh, yeah, yeah, that one's beyond my reach. Don't worry, crying's natural. Do you cry, boss? Uh, you'd be surprised at how easy it is to make me cry, actually. Alright, talk to Alma. So, why do you want to get into the auditorium? Sage projects for the festival got crushed, and I'm investigating. It was stored in there, so that's the scene of the crime. Oh, gotcha. What do you expect to find in there? I don't know, something epic? Like what, a copy of Homer's Iliad laying on the floor? <laughs> Fuck. That made her hurt. <laughs> Alright, let's move somewhere else. Let's move... Have we been to the yard? Let's try... Who's there? Who's here? Oh no, we've been here before. So we got the... Base? The Zane Dungeon. Okay, we haven't, haven't been here before. Let's talk to the wall. Dana? Glorious. No, I won't give in. I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend, I will defend. Oh man. Okay, it's Stella. So, have you thought of anyone suspicious? What? Do you know Anna? I think so, yeah. I can't recall her last name right now, but her. You think she's involved in the whole thing with Say? I doubt it. Then what? Well, she's a bit suspicious in general, you know. I know her name. I know how she's like, uh... But I have never interacted with her. Sometimes I doubt she even studies here. Wow, that is suspicious. Okay, we should go then. Uh, move to the auditorium. 
has Gabby left? Here we are. Oh, Gabby has gone. Okay, let's check the auditorium then. Let's move inside. How'd you go in? Let's look inside the auditorium. Look. Auditorium. Inside, here we go. Alright. Well, that's one hell of a big hole. Alright, it's Dorothy. <laughs> Yahoo, Dana. You came to see the big hole too. I came to investigate the place, but I didn't expect this. Investigate? What you investigating? Tell me. Ah, uh, well. That sounds like uh, this is a bit of a long story kind of well. Let's talk in my classroom. It's fresh there. Sure. Okay, let's look at something. The hole. The plot thickens. Okay. Let's talk to Anna. Hey there. I'm Anna. Anna Graham. You might say that we've met somewhere before, and you'd be wrong. How are you enjoying this adventure? I, for one, love to comb through the game as much as I can. It feels great, doesn't it? To have your curiosity acknowledged and rewarded. So, let me ask you to keep it up. Let your curiosity get the best of you. Who knows, there might be a reward at the end of it all. Or everything will crash and burn. Whatever comes first. <laughs> so Hannah's like the hacked character who only Jill can see in Valhalla. Weird. Alright, so we should go to... Classroom. Classroom 7-2. Alright, what is that? Oh yeah, that. The weirdest thing happened. A kebab just went and crashed through the window. Oh yeah, that, that might have been earlier. <laughs> Are you okay, Dana? Uh, can I keep it? If you don't care where it's been, then sure. So tell me, who was with you at the auditorium? You saw someone else? Don't play stupid. I bet you're about to indulge in some steamy action before seeing the hole. Uh, you've lost me. So you weren't at the auditorium to make out? You're actually investigating? Well, yeah. And here I thought Honey finally hit the jackpot. Dorothy, please explain what the hell you're on about. Sex. People go to the auditorium to make out, to eat each other out. <laughs> so, I thought the hole deterred you from exploring other holes. Yeah, no. Oh. So, what were you investigating? Uh, Say's project got destroyed, and it was stored there. And you think the ceiling crushed it? I thought someone crushed it. Well, the ceiling didn't just disappear. I heard they were clearing away rubble and debris before. To be honest, I'm more worried if someone got hurt. So, do you mind if I tag along for a bit? I'm kind of bored, to be honest. Yeah, only if I can take the kebab with me as well. Sweet. Let's check on everyone, see if someone's hurt. Alright, time to check in on people. So, let's talk to the kebab. I wonder where it came from. It was sent from the heavens. Through a window? Yeah, heaven works in mysterious ways. Right, back. Let's look at the broken window. Boo, Anna's here again. Sorry, I'm not another kebab. I'm just a reward for your curiosity. But you know what they say about curiosity? It killed the guy that thought it would be a great idea to dive into the Arctic Sea. I wonder at what point the recklessness stops being fueled by curiosity. Or at what point it becomes fueled by morbid fixation. Or at what point you stop reading this. Oh well, I won't take up any more of your time. Another point for you. What? What's this about points? Oh, you see. What? What is that? Okay, back out. Let's move. Where should we go? Let's go to the yard. Maybe say still there. Oh, Betty, did you bring us a snack? Mine. Okay, don't be like that. Where did you find it? On the floor. <laughs> It crashed through the window, actually. Did it now. I'm surprised nobody even heard it or came running over. Say so can have some of it if she wants, though. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Alright, let's let's talk. Alright, say. Say. What's up? Oh, I'm not getting into that joke. When you found the booth, did it have debris on it? Yeah. So the ceiling did collapse on top of it. Why didn't you tell me this before? I tried to, but you were so focused on finding a culprit that I wasn't able to. Dana. 
Dana, Dana, Dana. Okay, and here I wanted to punch someone. Now I just want to kick myself. I'm kind of worried that someone might have been hurt, you know. Me too. Come on, Dana, you still have one more duty. Okay, let's talk to Betty. What were you buying before, by the way? Oh, you know, the basics. Glue, nails, paper, markers, booze. What was the last one? Markers. <laughs> Alright, we'll go somewhere else. Check on people, whatever. Uh, Entrance. That's where Jill is, isn't it? Alright, let's talk. Oh, Alma, Dorothy. I'm a sidekick now. So, what's up with the hunk of meat? Honey, is there any way to refer to your boss? What? No, it's rude. <laughs> so, where's Gabby now? She went home by herself. Her sister came. Alright, let's talk to Jill. So, how did you get that kebab exactly? It crashed through a window. That's the second weirdest thing I've heard at this school. Okay, you have to ask, what's the first one? That Anna girl, Anna Graham. Everyone knows her, but nobody knows how or from where. Nobody studies with her. People that graduated before seem to know her as well. And yet, I don't feel like she's out of place somehow. Scary. Also, I think she's trying to make a move on me. Yeah, she seems to have a fixation with you. Oh. Alright, let's talk to Alma. Hey Alma, do you know what they do in the auditorium? Uh, I might have started that unwittingly. <laughs> really? So I was talking to Lyra from Class C and we started talking about romance novels. And I, I lent her one of mine and there was this climactic scene in the auditorium. Lyra told me about what she did trying to imitate the book and well, you know how these things go. A friend of a friend hears a rumour and before you know it, an urban legend pops up. So you like romance novels? Oh yeah, Jill got me into them, yeah. Okay. Where else can we go? Let's go to the base. I think Stella's still there, isn't she? Hello, hello. Dorothy. Hey Stella, look at this. I just cleaned the place and you bring a friggin' kebab into here. But it was so lonely by itself. Where did you get it anyway? Uh, yeah, it came through the window. Sure, why not? It stays. Alright, no, I didn't mean- oh, never mind. I did my part. Whatever happens after is not my problem. Okay, let's talk to Stella. Have you found anything? There's no case. The ceiling collapsed on top of the booth. Oh. Maybe the attacker- it's over, Stella. Oh. Why didn't she tell us? She tried. We didn't give her a chance. Well, gotta go. Where? To help say, what else? Okay. Let's talk to Anna. Man, this room was aching for that feminine touch. So I've been thinking hard about it, and now I know who my favourite girl is. It's me. After all, I'm the one I can relate to the most. I'm also the one that appeals to me the most. And I do appeal a lot to me. Still though, I can't clone myself, so... If I had to do a fuck marry kill with the girls, mm, I wouldn't do it because killing's bad and I don't hate anyone enough to do that either. So let's leave it a fuck and marry. Fuck Alma, marry Jill. <laughs> there. <laughs> Alright. Let's go somewhere else. Mm, back to the classroom. Okay, let's talk to no one here. Let's look at... Nothing. Okay, we're going to have to explore and see what else we've missed. Back to the schoolyard. Let's look at... Let's look at Betty. Hmm. What? Hmm. <laughs> what do you smell, Dorothy? An answer. Something's wrong. How did you get the wounds? I tripped on my way here. When? When I was buying stuff for say? How long ago? Uh, it was like an hour ago or something. Why so many questions? Those bruises should be fresher. And unless you trip down some stairs, you shouldn't be so wounded. Oh, she's crying. No. I was gonna make out with Vero, and then the roof fell, 
and I tripped on Say's project running away and I crushed it and and now I'm sad and hurt and horny and uh oh my god you dumb girl why didn't you get some help for the wounds uh I'm so sorry Say I didn't want to do it I well you didn't really crush it intentionally if you did that it'd be harder for me but I'm honestly more worried about you you seriously could have died didn't you say the booth had rubble and debris on it? It was probably there before I fell over it. Well, I guess that's the mystery solved. Why did the ceiling collapse though? And where did the kebab come from? Mystery solved. Anyway, you need any help, say? So? I do actually. Okay, count me in. Me too. Really? Awesome. Hours later. Okay, I'm beat now. Bummer that we didn't finish it today though. All that time, we could have been helping Say instead of chasing shadows. Sorry, like Say said, it's not like you did it on purpose. Hey, Say. Thank you so much. I, the sparkles are too bright. I was worried I couldn't finish on time, but you all helped me out so much. I didn't just get back up to speed, I was having a lot of fun as well. Well, count on me for tomorrow too. Me too, and me. Everything turned out okay in the end, thankfully. I say we celebrate with meat. When did you get it back? When I went to the bathroom. You washed your hands, right? Of course I did. When? No more questions, okay? Is that thing even cooked? Of course, just take a bite and, uh... There's paper. You found it on the floor. I'm surprised there's only paper on it. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Does it say something? We have taken your friend Iris captive. Come to the pier alone. What? To be continued? What? <laughs> what? Is that the end? Oh my god. Okay, so that's Valhalla Kids. I don't know if there's going to be extra bits to it or not. But this was a fun little thing for April Fools. And I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Usho signing off. And hopefully I will see you next time.